<laughs> you know, I, I just saw your video on your chopping. I don't know what happened to the sound on it on Facebook, but uh, but I really like that video. Uh, someone is asking again, brand, brand new people, uh, what are you making today? Today we want to make seco de pollo. Seco de pollo is an Ecuadorian dish. Really good, simple, and you can make in home. So it's traditional and the cause of the, on my country, Guayaquil. So we want to chop the yellow onions, red on a uh, red, uh, yellow, pe uh, yellow pepper, red peppers, and red onions. Okay, we're gonna put inside in the blender. So the texture is gonna be um, not too much thin. So I want, you know, I want uh, the that these things not too much juicy or like a smooth, you know. I don't want these. So this is just gonna be a rough chop. Exactly. So it's gonna be a okay. rough chopper. You got it. Okay. So, so po pollo means chicken, right? Yes, you wanna make. Okay. okay. So the pollo, so chicken. So one cup of water, you wanna add over here. All right. So let's go. I'm gonna blend it. So I use a magic bullet because you know it's really good. So I know so, I I saw you use it on your uh, live last week, and I didn't think that it was going to chop everything, and it just crunched everything really quickly. Yeah. So, but. I, you know, I want to put in the blender, but I don't want it too much style, like, uh, you know, smoothie things. No, it's going to be quick. <laughs> quick. Thank so, you, Riri. Riri says that, uh, that she loves this TikTok. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. So, you know, that's going to be the texture. You look up them. Okay. So... It's not like a um, you know, a smoothie, yeah. something like that. You know, you have to be, you know, a little recito. I'm sorry for my English, but I am Latina. That's okay. I am Latina. <laughs> I think, uh, I think that uh, Trisha is in is in as well. Oh, really? Hi, how think... are you? Welcome. So now. I want to do the same with the last part. Yeah. So I want to put them there. in the pot, you know, guys. So I want to bring the chicken. The chicken. Hey, guys. Welcome to Food Talk TV. If you're, ple if you're scrolling along, please hit our follow button and... Hit the bell to be notified when we go live. We go live every single day. And this is Rx. Her channel is Wada Cooks. And she is a wonderful cook from Ecuador. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So you can use. Breast it's a big old chicken breast. Yeah, chicken breast. You can use or you want to use chicken legs or tights. That's fine. Okay. All right. Whatever you is you know everything is whatever you like so it's not like oh that receipt we have no 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 if you like the breast do it the breast so okay. for me actually i have a special mm, a special guest my daughter so leonela she's speaking so no i don't want uh, bones i want i want uh, the breast you yeah. okay i don't know why she liked the breast because the breast for me is they don't have flavor but uh, okay for me it's gonna be piernita chicken lead so it's good okay. <laughs> yes so we want to add over here guys looking Put over here dun, dun. look at that one mm. okay okay look at that scene yes so medium heat 
please, medium heat. I don't want the, uh, you don't have, uh, you have to be careful. No, no higher, you know, the. You're not, you're not trying to burn it. Yes. I, we want juicy. That's the okay. proper for us, juicy. Okay. So now we want a sassoning. It's a simple. Two spoons, the salt. I use kosher, so if you have uh, Himalaya salt, pink salt, black salt, that's okay. I don't judge at anyone, so we can do it. So black pepper, one spoon. Garlic paste. Okay. I use my garlic paste. I want to make uh, the video for everyone asking me, hey, what kind of garlic paste do you, uh, do you use? So I do my special, uh, my special one. Okay. So I do my special one. So look at over here. I want to use two spoons for the garlic paste. Well, it's going to have a lot of flavor in there. Yes. Yeah, lots of flavor. If you want, if you want, guys, if you want a little more flavor, you can use uh, the Nor chicken flavor bouillon. So you can use it, so Maggie, whatever you, you like. So I want to use just one, two, not too much. Hello, Thrifted Roots. And Hi. let me say hello to uh, Chef Bradley, who's in the house, California Huntress. Uh, all our friends are showing up today. Yes. I want to use sodium. Sodium. One right. is sodium. <laughs> that, that's uh, MSG, right? Exactly. So I'm sorry for the last life. It was somebody is confused. It was my fault. I'm bad, but I, you know, now I want to make it clear. Is sodium. <laughs> so, anato oil. We want to add the anato oil, two spoons. The anato oil. Okay. Do you make that yourself? Exactly. I am doing okay. it. I am making myself. Oh, if you want, you can buy the in the, in the supermarket. Latin supermarket and the all, all at Walmart in the Latin section or Hispanic section, you can find the anato oil. So now I want to put this in the in the kitchen. No, the stove. Yeah, I, you know. Wait, uh, can I ask you something, Rx? Yeah. Yes. Okay. This this right here. If you look at my if you look at my picture, that has a natto and it has the MSG in it. You can use it. You can yeah. use it in this, in, in this dish. Of course, absolutely. That's great. Okay. Just checking. You can use it. You can use it. Goya. <laughs> it's it's no Goya is no good. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so so I want to leave it here just for, it depends. So and for me, it's going to be 20 minutes over here. Okay. So now I want to do the other things. No? I want to chop mm -hmm. the, the cilantro. Look, the cilantro. I want to chop it. Ta, 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 ta. You have to be careful with your, with your Look fingers. Those knife skills, wow. Yes. Hi, how are you? So, we want to chop them over here. You know, guys, in this yes. dish, when I eat soup, um, oh, oh, estofado, stuff, I like to use the roots, the tallitos. I love that because yes. the things have the flavor. That things it have a more flavor. So use it. Don't throw away, guys. Use it. As a matter of fact, uh, 
There's a lot of flavor in the roots for cilantro. Parsley has too much flavor. Parsley roots are the stems are too strong. Too exactly. strong. So I don't understand how to uh, how 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 people they don't use it and throw away. No, you know I am using everything. I don't waste anything. 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 Yeah. I don't waste. No. I can't do it. So, you know, I want right. to use, I want to leave over there. So let's go clean because I have to, to clean. Okay. Let's go clean. That's cleaning. You know, Kaz, we have um, a, a special ingredient in the... Right. In this dish, of course. You know the Lulo? You know who is Lulo? No. Okay, Lulo is nara um, in Spanish is naranjilla. It's a fruit. So you can make a juice, you can make a dessert, you can use for cook too. Has anybody in the live, anybody in the comments heard of this? I don't know what this is. Is um um Hispanic fruit so in South America, so it's really good. So you can find it in the brand the Sembrador and Walmart. So what does it what, what does it taste like? Okay, they taste acid. Citrus. Okay. Yeah. So, but the flavor. I can describe uh, the flavors, but uh, it's really good. Believe me. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, taste does it taste like a tomato? No, no, no. tastes like a tomato. It's a fruit. So, okay. that, that the things in here uh, you don't know about the Hispanic uh, fruit, but okay. this one. You can make um, potajes. Okay, potajes. someone says uh, is trying to tell me citric acid, like yeah. uh, like uh, say grapefruit or something like that. Uh, yes, something like that. Okay, something like that. Yes, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, uh, Yogi, Yogi Bear Wife says uh, like lemon or lime. Okay, so you've got people in the comments who know. Yes, of course, absolutely. So, but uh, you know, um, the the lulo or naranjilla. Well, when I came here to the United States, I just try find the name because you know, as different in Spanish and um, in other countries have other names. Um, it was hard for me but when I am uh, when I am discovered the Hispanic section so in the in, in the frozen area so I think oh we have naranjilla oh my god that delicious we have guanabana oh my god you know it was it, it was hard for me <laughs> now I, I I can understand I can buy everything I want in Hispanic thing so okay. Let me <laughs> uh, yes, we are in a in a cooking class. Absolutely, I'm glad somebody recognizes that. <laughs> so, let me tell you something. This dish uh, is simple, very simple. But for me, I'm gonna do it in other level, like a fancy presentation. A lot of things. So when you see get the video. I use platanitos for decoration. Looking at the platanitos, that's the sweet plantain. So you can buy um, different brands, Chiquita, eh, Sembrador, you know, whatever you want. So I want to fry the, the, the maduritos because it's going to be or presentation. And okay. when I so, avocado so too. So last time you used uh, green plantains and they had the texture of a potato. Uh, do the, you said that these are actually sweeter? Yes, it's sweetie. It's, okay. it's the green plantain. 
is the is green plantain. But the thing is, when you don't use the green plantain, um, you live for um, you know, um, oh, okay, as they ripe, for, if they ripen, they get sweeter. Exactly. So for four days or five days, six days, so the skin is gonna be dark. No, the, it's gonna yes. be dark. Right. Now you can use and change the flavor as sweet. That's amazing, you know. <laughs> we have a lot of things, you know, about flavors, about the vegetables, um, fruits. They can yeah. give you a lot of things when we cook, you know. Omeg says when they're almost black, they're sweet, sweet. Yes. Sweet. Yes. Hey, okay. So let me stop you just for a second. You go ahead and cook. I'm just going to tell them about Food Talk TV. Of course. Uh, you guys, uh, please, uh, if you're not following, follow Food Talk TV. You're watching Rx on the screen. On the screen, her um, channel on TikTok is Wadua Cooks. And if you want to know more about her. Go to foodtalktv.com. And as a matter of fact, I think we're going to put up a article on the Lulu so that it, at least I'll know what it is the next time she uses it. We are on all major platforms, Instagram, Food Talk TV, uh, YouTube, Food Talk TV, Pinterest, Food Talk TV, and Twitch, Food Talk TV. That's a big old avocado, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the the bo uh, the the mom, the boyfriend of my daughter, he have a a, a tree the avocado. So she sent to me avocados. So that's a really big. So let let me check if we have no. That's the last one. This is the last one. Look, it's really big. Really big. That is <laughs> yeah. not. That's not a Haas avocado. It's a. That's just a big old avocado. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I I like this avocado because it have the flavor the avocado has. Um, it's creamy. It's creamy. When you uh -huh. can, it's creamy. Yeah, it's creamy. Hello, Kathy. Hi, how are you? So and, now uh, you were trying someone was trying to get your attention and uh, I was laughing. Is I changed my name 88. Uh and they're probably gone already. Uh oh Meg, she is in Miami. She's in Miami. We have uh we have creators all over the place, California, Miami, uh Sweden. I'm in Texas uh right now. So, so I'm gonna make something uh, different because I have to decorate the plate. So I wanna make um a flower with the avocado. So but I have to be careful. I have to be careful. So look at the technique. Have to be careful. What are the things I gonna do? You're spreading it out bit by bit. What? Oh, I was just uh, commenting. You're spreading it out, and you're folding it, folding it inwards, right? Yes. So I have to be careful. Yes, be careful and patient. Patient. Okay. Yes. Uh, Arix is from Luke. Ecuador. Uh, her last name is Wong. Her uh, father is 100% uh, uh, Chinese. Oh, beautiful. Actually, can we, can you move the camera over one more? I mean, like move the camera directly over it? No, because that's in the comments. You need to go come up. Okay, you want yeah. to turn yes. the camera? Yeah. yeah, just take the camera and put it on top of it. Okay, so let me clean the hands. Yes. 
Guys, let me clean the hands. Give me a second because, give me a second. I don't want the platanitos. That thing's happening here because everything we do on live. So give That's me a fine. second. That's let fine. Platanitos. I don't want to burn platanitos. No, so, you don't want to do that. No, we don't do that. So we have to be. <laughs> You know, that's crazy because when I, you, uh, you cook um, in your home, no video cameras, no everything, you know, so you have, uh, you are focused and the food, but I want to, you do a live, um, show everyone everything is, is like a little crazy. So yes, it's put, about, it's a, it's a juggling act. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so let me flip the camera. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it, guys? Look at that. Mm. And that's really like only six six slices, right? Well, actually, it's a thin um, um, cuts. Yes, beautiful. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, we can go back. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rx. You guys, if you want to find more about Rx, uh, you can go to foodtalktv.com and go to our creators page. And her bio is there and links to her TikTok are there too. Yes, of course. Share the live, please, guys. Please share, share the live. Share the live even, even if just share it to the first five people. That uh, that you come across, okay? What? Well, I was just asking people to help, and also you've got six thousand likes. Let's see if we can get this up to ten thousand really quick. Yes, please come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I want to add just a little bit of lemon because sometimes it's gonna be oxid. Uh, so yeah. Yes. You yeah. don't want to turn, turn brown too quickly. Yeah. So we don't want to leave over there. That's will be fine. Let's go and take care of the platanitos. So the platanitos is almost ready. Let's go to check the platanitos. So I want to use paper, paper okay. towel. Did you? I want the platanito did... too much greasy. Okay, so you were frying those because we didn't see you. We didn't see what you did with them. Okay. So let me think. My apologia, I just have one phone, so I do the best I can do. Oh, great! Look That's a great the color. The color you have to be golden. Hello, Ashton. Hi, Ashton. So look, that's the color we want. Oh, if if you don't want fry the the sweet plantain, you can go and use the ninja fryer. So it's up to you guys. Okay. Yes. Yes, maduros. All men knows about maduros. <laughs> Pasta maker one, hi from Michigan. Hello, Michigan. This is a really good picture, Artix. Oh, thank you. I hope everyone like, you know, I'm, I know um, sometimes is is hard. Um, the people trying new new flavors new uh, new dishes but uh let me tell you something this this receipt is no is nothing special it's just a regular special uh it's a regular dish like a united states mac and cheese but in the latin um, south america uh, we eat different so like um, make a rice yellow rice White rice soup use. 
Wait a lot. Okay, uh, people are asking you to uh, tell them the name of the recipe again. Seco de pollo. And what does that mean in English? It's like, it's like uh, we can call chicken use. <laughs> okay, all right. Or chicken dry, something like that. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, in my country, I don't know why they um, gave the name seco de pollo. Because the, the chicken is juicy. It's not dry. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Beth. Hi. How are you? And you guys, please uh, give us a follow uh, if you're just scrolling through and hit the uh, hit, give us some likes. Also, if you're following, please hit the, uh, the little bell so that you'll be notified every single time that we go live. And we go live every single day. We have uh, we've got uh, 10 different creators, so we're bound to make something that you like someplace along the way. We are on every platform, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we're not on Twitter. Oh, there's the chicken. That's yeah. been on for about 15 minutes now, right? Yes, 15 minutes. So the thing is the chicken, you have to be ready. Yeah, that's raw right there. Yeah, that's raw. So the chicken you have to be ready. Yes. So I don't. And she's got in. She's she's cut up a big old giant chicken breast, and she's got in a couple legs there. So now, guys, I wanna add the cilantro. Look at this! Ooh, yeah! Beautiful color. Yes, look at the cilantro. Oh my goodness, look. We have the cilantro, more cilantro, because I am Latina, I love cilantro. So, there you go. There you <laughs> and go. so we want to add one cup of Lulu. And there's a Lulu. Like there's so, I'm a gonna Lulu. Put up, I'm going to put up an article. I'm going to put up an article on... Um, Oh, number Chet up is in the house. Hey, Carlos. I'm going to put up an article on foodtalktv.com about the Lulu. Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. So, if you want, you can taste is uh, is, is or seco de pollo. Need more salt or... Um, 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 or some special, so whatever you want. But uh, for me, that's fine with all the ingredients um, and um, I am at. So that's for me, that's fine. So look at this one. Oh my God. We have to leave it all over here for 20 minutes more. Okay. Yes, for 20 minutes more. So look at the platanitos over here. Look at my platanitos. Oh my goodness. And those were only frying for about 10 minutes, maybe. Yes, for yes. 10. Look at the platanito. So guys, um, this, rece uh, this receipt is, um, we can complain with the yellow rice, okay? No, no, the regular rice color white. No, it has to be yellow rice. Okay. Yellow rice. Okay. Yeah, yellow rice. So I want to put over there. So it's up to you if you want to fry with uh, oil or in the air fryer. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter for me. So I want to put this over here. I want to separate. So, you know, I want to show you my caviar, <laughs> red onion caviar. I do it the, in a couple days. Look at this one. Wait a minute. Red onion caviar. What do you mean? Yeah. 
I don't make red onion caviar. You don't see my video there, uh, how to make red onion caviar. Is that a video on your channel? Yes, on my channel. And what's your channel name? What do I cook? So let's go. <laughs> okay. Check the video. <laughs> let's go and check the video. Also, guys, let's go uh, tag tag the screen. Please help to us tag tag the screen. Share the live. So look at this one. Wow. So how did you make that? We're in the makeup. Okay. So I, I am trying doing a molecular <laughs> molecular gastronomy is it yes molecular gastronomy so um you know it's easy so you uh, you have to to cut uh, the onions and uh, thin and large so you put in in the jar in the glass jar of course you have to be sterilized everything um you put in the in the pot um uh, apple vinegar one cup one cup um the water salt pink pepper of you don't have pink pepper you can use um black pepper white pepper is up to you but i am prefer use um pink pepper so one spoon the oregano it's gonna be amazing so i you know i just uh, strilling and the boil um when i is a little heat so i am take it out i am put inside in the in the in the jar oh i forgot um uh, if you want you can use orange Oh, what is oh grateful? Yes, I have a yes, I have um, yes, I have a grateful. So you tú lo exprimes y lo pones también en la mezcla, you know. So inside in the in the jar, um, uh, you cook to uh, to five the apple. And they put inside the jar 24 hours in the in the refrigerator and the next day so you can take it out uh the the oil the oil vegetal oil oil you have to put inside the refrigerator for 10 hours so the oil it has to be cold so when i um you have to to uh, steer the 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 use of the uh, the red onion pickles no so just a one cup and when that's finished so you put in the in the pot um add agar just half a spoon the agar agar and when you stealing you know you remove you put in the gotero and the um in the in the cold oil you start making drops so i do the caviar okay. that's it yes so now when i do or play okay or play so you have almost fourteen thousand likes you guys thank you for all the likes please share share the like Take, take, we, have, take we have eight shares so far. Please share the live. Yeah, share the live. Let's go. Please, let's go. <laughs> so, guys, we're talking too much. So let's go make more food. <laughs> yes, let's, let's make some more food. Yeah, legs. So, that's the plate I want to use, guys. I don't know. You can see? Yes. Okay. I want to do my, I want to add over here, you know, for decorate the, the, um, the red, no, the yellow rice. Give me a second. I want to put the yellow rice over here. 
thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Make sure that you hit the little bell so that you know that when we, when we go live and we go live every single day. Okay, guys, look. Look at the yellow rice. Look at the deliciousness. Are you using that as a mold? Yes, you are, aren't you? Yes, I want it more over here. Like at the video, guys. Like at the video. So I want to leave over here because I don't want the rice cool. Let's check the... The pollito, the chicken. Well, actually, the breast is ready because the breast is more easy. You know, cook more easy like a, the. Yes, it does. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to. Doesn't have to hit the um, heat the bone. Yes, exactly. Yes, she said yellow rice. Yeah, yellow rice, guys. So. Oh my goodness. You want to see Cass? Yes, would love to see. You want to see them? Yes. I want to use their breasts, okay? Because their okay. breasts is going to be more easy. They could. Hello, um, CC Ryder. Yes, of course, look of thing. So look at this one. Bring it up just a little bit. It's in the comments. No, upward, upward. There we go. There we go. Yes. There you go. So now oof cast. Let's go. Up oh, there we go. It didn't fall apart. Let me go. So now I want to use the avocado. Okay, great. Flour. You have to be careful. Share the live, guys. Over here. So I want to put in this corner. Look at this one. In this yes. corner. So let's see. Use it over here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Rx is an amazing plater. She she plates things so beautifully. And cook really good too. <laughs> and she cooks really good. And she cooks really good. I cook really good too. <laughs> so. Cass is not only the plate. I'm, I'm cook. <laughs> I know, I know, but I think I I'm really amazed all the time about uh, about really great plating, and you're a really great plater. Yes. Okay, so, so now for the plantanitos. Let me add the platanitos over here. I want the platanitos, you know, guys. The golden platanitos. Oh my god, yes. Okay, did you use? What a more use. Because the seco de pollo, you have to be using. Okay. So look the order. Look at this one. So now I'm going to add the caviar. This is the red onion caviar that's going on going on yeah. top. I wanna add right here. Look at this one, guys. I wanna add right here. Because it's gonna be like a salad, you know, when you try the red onion caviar and the and the avocado, the flavor is gonna be a salad. Okay. And Chef Bradley says that you have awesome skills. Oh, thank you. So I want to have the over there, you know. I have to be colorful. The cilantro. The 
Okay, and this is just salt, right? Yes. Okay. Let me try another one. That one thing I own. One thing. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Food Talk TV. Thank you for following. If uh, if you're just scrolling through and you haven't followed, please follow. Rx is uh, just plating her beautiful dish. And that's Rx Wong. She's our cook today. She's from Guadua Cook. And she is one of our fabulous creators. She is Ecuadorian. When I make alfalfa sprouts over here. Okay. So when I use some cheese. Let me cut something. Let me try to do something. She yeah. is meticulous about her plating. So, yes. You are ready for it? Yes, we want to get that fl camera flip. Of course, absolutely. So, give me guys one second. Look at this one. So, you like it? If you want to add more colors, you know, I love that things. I am a little crazy, so I want to add a little popping seeds. Uh, don't worry, Riri. She's going to move the camera so that we can see it. Ooh, you know, I am at a little poppy seeds. Yes. Okay, guys. I want to move the camera. So hold down. Give me a second. Okay. I hope you like it, guys. Wow. Wow. Get close on the um, on the avocado. There's a uh, alfalfa sprout, um, red onions, caviar, cilantro. Yeah, sure. the, the little pink things on the plate are all red onion caviar. She also cut up chives. Uh, there, those are plantains, plantainitos, and that is chicken breast. It's amazing, Rx. Thank you. That's it's the plate. Amazing. Yes. Yes. Y this you is know, beautiful. This, this receipt is easy. It's no. It's not complicated. It depends, you know, the time do you have. So the time I am spend doing this dish is 30 minutes. It's not too much. When when you use chicken breast, and you use chicken breast, is the 30 minutes. When you use Thai, you know, other part, or the chicken is gonna be a little more, so like a 40 minutes. But uh, for me, I am use my chicken legs and, yeah. and the breeze. So, hi, mommy. <laughs> my mom is over there. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 um, my mom taught, uh, teaching me do this, uh, this this plate, this dish. When wow. I was uh, 10 years, my mom taught me. So, thank you, mom. That's a suceco de pollo, mommy. Yes, thank you, mom. We appreciate it. <laughs> so, I want to I wanna, uh, uh, teach you guys how the look. Believe me, it's not raw. Look at the chicken because it, I know that you know is someone asking no the chicken is raw no it's no raw so you can check yes done all the way through yes everything is fine so it's no raw something like that no 
if more easy if you use only chicken um, breast. Mm. Mm. Right, That's you like it, you like chicken with the bone in. <laughs> so do I. I like chicken with the bone. You can try. Yes. You know, the flavors, everything is good. So guys, if you want add more salt, do it. Is 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 how do you like? But for me, I don't I don't add too much salt, sodium, no. I uh, just a couple, you know, just a pinches, not too much. Or, or one spoon or half a spoon, that for me, it's fine. So I am 40 years old. I have to take care of myself. <laughs> I have okay. to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. So that the things. I have to do not too much uh, seasoning. No, you have to take her too for your health. So, you have a more question, guys? Let me know. Oh, that's a really good. <laughs> yeah, if, any, mm -hmm. if there's anybody in the uh, in there with any questions, we're happy to answer any of them for you. Sorry. Oh, I was telling everyone if they have any questions, we're happy to answer. Of course, absolutely. Uh, Chef Bradley says you look 28. No, 40 years old. <laughs> oh, look, old man. Oh, okay. Let's go teaching him because he was so interesting um, in the plate, but as someone called him. So, look, I want to flip the camera, so... Okay. That's what the plate. Look at all men. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. And I'm going to put an article up on Lulu. On foodtalktv.com so that you can see. I'll link it to your, uh, your profile, okay? So that People can find you and they can find out everything about you as well as all of our other creators on Food Talk TV. Please give us a follow. Yes, guys, please share the live. Um, please share the follow live. us. We are a group of the Credo. Uh, we share food, easy receive. So we have a Ashton, just like a granny. We have a, a Tricia, a sketchy chef. We have um, a gluten-free mo um, gluten mom, so um, Andrea, we have a Christine, we have a Cass, we have a Mama, Miss, uh, she's so nice. So we have a Frank too, you know, follow us if you want more. Um, if you have a question about the receipt, just, you know, um, you can send a message um, about the food, or, or you can check um, our profile and Food Talk TV, all the receipts we do. doing. Oh, we have a, um, Ashley too. I'm sorry. So, Ashley, so. Hey, and do it all. Now, do all of that again in Spanish. So, si saben que, chicos, um, síganos por la página de Food Talk TV. Somos un grupo de creadores. Um, tenemos a um, Andrea que está ahí abajo, tenemos a Trisha, tenemos a um, Ashton, Ashley, a Cass, a Fran, a Bama, so Guadua Cooks, a Zaurix, so eh, nosotros estamos aquí para enseñarles nuestras recetas, recetas que de familia, comida hecha en casa, just home food, create with love for our grannies, eh, recetas que traen eh, juntas a la familia so, y, y son fáciles y prácticas de hacer, so, así que chequeen nuestros videos por Food Talk TV y denos, nuestro, eh, denos el like y el follow Thank you Thank you Rx Thank you, yes We create food with love 
So for example, um, Andrea, Andrea has a great content about food. So she know about the gluten-free uh, gluten free things. So his, his mom, so she knows everything about uh, take care, health for his son, uh, for her son. So that the things how to make. So guys, we have everything, the everyone. So just follow us. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Okay, so uh, let's do one more shot of the food and then we can uh, sign off for today. Tomorrow is Trisha, Sketchy Chef. Let's go, a Sketchy Chef. Tomorrow, eh, mañana vamos a tener a Sketchy Chef. What time, eh, guys? Same time, same time, four o'clock. Okay. Uh, four o'clock our time, five o'clock your time, five o'clock Eastern. Okay, guys, so let's go. And tomorrow, Trisha is going to be alive. So, four o'clock. So, Eastern, or four o'clock Central, five o'clock Eastern. Okay, five o'clock Eastern time, no? Right. Yeah, so let's go. So on Sunday, who is uh, who is Saturday? Saturday is just like Granny, that's Ashton. And Sunday uh, is, is it me? Who is it? Wait a minute. Uh, I know it's going to be October Dragonfly. October Dragonfly. Yes. So yes. I got you. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. And but and we always know that on Monday is going to be um, Sherry Skinner, and then Tuesday is Gluten Free Mama Ann, and then Wednesday is Ashley, and then Thursday is RX. That's me? right. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> so uh, the next live, so I want to have a surprise of you guys. So I hope you like that. the next receipt. So it's going to be crazy, the next receipt. Believe me, guys, when I am say crazy, it's going to be crazy because I want to do something in new. Okay. All right. Yeah something new so i hope you're gonna like it because it's a, a i don't want to say too much but uh, the plate everything is gonna be amazing okay all right thank you very much thank you everybody for uh sticking with us and thank you for following food talk tv we appreciate it we will see you tomorrow at four o'clock central thank you <laughs> rx we, we all love you Thank you, Caso. Se los quiere mucho de aquí al cielo y de vuelta parado de mano. Este es Guadua Cooks. Chao por Fuck Talk TV. Chao.